Okay, number eight is we're talking about like things like Zoom and Be Live, right? So obviously in this case right now, you know, I'm just coming live on Facebook, right? Um, but but we use Zoom and we use Be Live, both of those things. I did an online summit. I did a virtual summit on Monday this week, and we used Be Live for that virtual summit. So it's pretty simple software to run. Um, it has a free version and a paid version. So the paid version of Be Live is twenty four ninety nine a month, something like that, or twenty nine dollars a month. And but you can use that to be able to go live on Facebook, go live on your page, go live in your group. If you have a group, right? Um, you can be using this kind of content. Also, what's cool about Zoom and Be Live is both of those they record your video, so you can have it set to where it records, and then you can drop that recording other places or you know chop the recording up and do different things with it. So once you create this, you know, if you're going live on Facebook or you're using Zoom Be Live to project yourself out to either on, like I said, either on Facebook or on your business page or inside of a group or whatever. But Zoom and Be Live, man, they're awesome ways that you can be able to at least get like this on video people. You can bring people into a group. I saw a lady that I know in San Diego, um, Glenda Meyer. She hosted a really cool happy hour, right? So I think it was on Wednesday. Maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, I think it might have been last night. And she just used a Zoom, sent out the link to all her friends, and they all got on there. They were just like all drinking together on the Zoom, you know? So that's pretty cool. I mean, there's different ways, right, of just right now, again, you know, we talked about it on Tuesday, is uh, creating some connections. Everybody's, people are going to be craving connections as they're forced to stay in their house. You know, they're used to being in an office or they're used to being out in public where they're getting other adult human interaction, and they're going to be craving that. So how can you use Zoom and be live and that kind of thing to... Um, to be creating that now, right? You can, both of those things, you can bring in people, you can go live on Facebook or on Instagram if you have, depending on what account level you have, right? But, but be live is cool for that because, especially if you have a, if you're a realtor or loan officer, you probably have a local, some kind of local group already. So you could even be going live in the local group and you know, you could go live with other local business owners. Here's an example. Say you have a local group, you're a realtor with a local group, Post in the group and say, tag a restaurant owner who's still open for to-go orders or delivery. And bring and then message those people and bring them on a live and you guys all just chat it up about, you know, what's still available for customers, how's it impacting their business, you know, this kind of stuff, right? So it's like there's a lot of ways to be creating community. And today, since you can't do it in person, Zoom and Be Live are both um, really good resources uh, to be able to do that. In, in an online world and then also be able to broadcast it live if you want to onto your Facebook or onto your Instagram profile. So what we're doing with those right there, I'll give you some ideas right here that I wrote over here. I think I pretty much covered them all anyways. So, you know, you can either be, um, you know, you can either be training or teaching something, kind of like what I'm doing right now, right? I'm just providing some value, creating some content. What's up, Hurt? What's up, Trisha? Appreciate y'all for watching. And so you could do that as well. You could be training, you could be teaching, Maybe use it as some um, way to demonstrate other pieces of your personality. So if you watched the video from yesterday, we talked about how to create um, six things that you're known for or known as. And because oftentimes people don't know what to talk about online, right? You're really funny, you're really cool in person, but you don't know how to translate that into an online environment. So you could be using Zoom or Be Live to demonstrate some of those other things, right? So like we talked about, or even Facebook Live like this, right? So if you're a great chef, or you love to cook, set your phone up on the tripod and go live and, and talk to people while you're cooking, right? Let them ask you questions, have some things that you want to talk about, and, and just it's just a way to demonstrate a few of your different personality pieces, right? In terms of your real estate knowledge and, and that kind of thing, but then also mixing it in with your cooking and with things that you like to do outside of just how you make money. Um, so think about that, teaching and cooking, and then also or sorry, teaching or training, and then also demonstrating other pieces of your personality. And then the last way is, like I said, with Glenda, how she used it for the for hosting an online happy hour, right? So she just shared out the link with all her friends. Everybody jumped in. They were able just to kind of hang out, fake cheers, you know, this kind of stuff. And I'm sure it was like an awesome time and something that her friends will remember. Remember that time we did the virtual happy hour uh, when we were all in lockdown, you know? And so you can be creating some of that uh, for yourself as well. So Zoom and Be Live, definitely great resources. And also Facebook Live, like I am right now, right? 